Welcome to the Vatican. I'm here in line with 3,000 other people. Fortunately, there's still a nice view when you're standing in line. I mean, it looks pretty, pretty nice from the outside. Probably it's pretty nice from the inside too. January. I'm sure if you're here in July, you have to wait in a line that's four times as long. So, bright side of things, right? Now, I have to pay to go into the museum, so of course I'm not going to go into the museum. But that's okay, because I'm not a big museum person anyway. Um, but if I paid to go into the museum, then I wouldn't have had to wait in line to go into the Vatican. But I'm not interested in going to the museum, so it wouldn't have been worth it. So now we're just gonna stand here for a little while, or a long while. The line is moving faster than I thought it would be. That's another good thing. I wasn't allowed to talk while I'm inside of the Vatican, so that's why I didn't say anything. But some pretty cool stuff to look at, right? So, things I learned. Vatican is just a really, really big church. They said that from the front door all the way to the back of the altar is two football fields, which is 200 yards, which is, I think, close to 200 meters. But it's designed to look like it's not that big, so that it's kind of intimate. Um, like the statues that are higher up, they made, they actually made them bigger, so that they wouldn't look like they're so far away. Um, and they have tombs underneath. You can go by the tombs, which I did not expect. I was actually really surprised. You can go downstairs underneath the hall. They have just tombs just lining the hallway of old folks. I was like, this is crazy, and each one has a little plaque saying who it was, what they were known for, and when they were Pope. Really cool. I didn't know that. I didn't know that they had that here. St. Peter was the first Pope. He was called like a King Pope. So he was called like the King Pope. He was the first Pope. He was crucified in the year 65, right around here. I think inside the church or in front of the church. I think it was in front of the church. He was crucified here because uh, the Romans did not like him preaching so much about Christianity, so they crucified him. He did not feel like he deserved to be crucified in the same position that Jesus was, so they crucified him while he was hanging upside down. This whole square out here in front, I say square, it's really just a circle or an oval. Um, it was used for chariot racing um, before the basilica was the basilica. And this is not the original building. They're part of the original building is still like there. When you're walking through the tomes, you can see there are signs that say like part of the original wall or part of an original column from the original building but they've since expanded it a lot. And um, when Michelangelo was working on it, um, he died before it got finished, of course, but he had a lot of 
plans for it to be different than it was. Um, and apparently he didn't want it to be so grand. He um, wanted it to be more inclusive, less like, hey, I'm bigger than you. But now the church is really like, hey, I'm bigger than you. They even have spots marked of other famous churches um, of how small they are compared to this church. Hi guys! For the last 40 minutes, I've been trying to get here. This is the top of the Giancolo Hill. I wanted to climb up the hill, but instead of going through the park, I ended up going the wrong way and climbing around the hill. And then I came to the end of the road I was walking up and I found the entrance to the park that was open. All the other entrances I passed by were closed. So now I'm here where it's open. I There was not this much traffic five minutes ago. There was not. But anyway, I'm on the top of the hill and before the sun goes down all the way, I want to show you guys the top of Rome. So I'm in Trastevere. Trastevere is a part of Rome. It's like a... It's like Manhattan is a part of New York City. Trastevere is just another area of the city. And it's a less touristy area um, with different culture and... It's got a big old hill here. I'm really excited. Guys, this is awesome. I'm so glad I came all the way up here. Are you ready? I don't know if you're ready for this. Now, <clears throat> I'm walking through Trastevere. Um, I just sort of went down some stone steps and kept on walking. And I'm really glad I did because this looks awesome. This is completely different from downtown. I feel like this is an area where a lot of people don't go when they visit Rome. back across the river and you can see it's much more touristy over here a bit louder it's been two hours since I left the Vatican and now I'm looking for a small restaurant for me to get some dinner um, as I go back to my hostel so probably gonna be like an hour until I go get back to my hostel. Jeez, it's loud over here. I'm walking back to my hostel, but it's definitely on the other side of the city, so it's gonna be a little while until I get there. Um, I expect about at least 45 minutes, but it's okay. I'm 
been walking for a few hours already. Well, it's another hour or so. Tomorrow I'm going to Sicily. So that's going to be exciting. But I need to be up early for the plane. But I also need to get a video up tonight. So I'm glad it's only 6.30. I like walking through Rome. It's nice. Well, I can't believe it, but I made it back to my hostel. It is 8 p.m. I left six hours ago. And I've just been walking pretty much nonstop the whole time. So I'm tired. And I was gonna stop and get dinner, but I know I'm gonna be having a lot of good Italian food at my work away. And I still have pasta and sauce left in the fridge at the hostel. So I figure I'll just save myself the 10 euros and I'll just have some more pasta for dinner tonight. I also have some wine in the fridge, so I'm gonna enjoy that as well. I'm gonna cut the video here because I feel like I've gotten a ton of footage today and also because I'm exhausted. If you thought this video was interesting, give it a thumbs up. And if you wanna see more about me, my channel, my travels through Italy and other parts of Europe, feel free to subscribe. Have a good night and I'll see you next time.